Hey, welcome back to part two of the final skate. It's the Sunday morning skate at 10 a.m. of the Philadelphia Free Skate. We just skated under Spring Garden, and we're heading down to the Schuylkill River Trail. Some people call it the uh, Schuylkill Banks Trail, but take your pick. I don't care. So in an earlier skate, we skated across the Schuylkill, and we skated through West Philly. Now we're on the right side of the river. All right, we're on the left side but this is the correct side. And as you can see, well, you will see rather quickly, there's a nice etiquette established by the regulars of Philly who are on this path quite often. It could be because there's arrows on the ground that got them started, but the fact is they do it right because it's a small to narrow path. It's not friendly to bikers and, and, sk and, ru and runners. Skaters are kind of like the forgotten stepchild of the group. And you'll notice quite clearly that people will stay to their right. And I say this because if you're from Delaware and you're skating in Glasgow Park, learn a thing or two from this because you drive me nuts. Look at this guy, the, the, you know, the runner, see how far he got, got to the side? Parents are actually holding their kids because they're afraid of so many skaters coming down this hill. And I think we warned that family as well. That's what Kristoff did. That's who's in front. He's the skate leader. That's Kristoff, my favorite Frenchman. And we're about to skate under the Vine Street extension. So this is the road that cuts straight through Philly. Many years ago, it caused a lot of consternation. See the arrows painted on the ground there. And you can also see the CXS, uh, CXS tracks. Say that three times fast. On the left there. They actually don't just end. They continue on. They go underground right at the oval in front of the Ben Franklin Parkway's, I guess, fountain right there at the art museum. So on this side of the tracks, the train tracks, I guess, were used for, at one time, you know, for commerce. And the other side is uh, for commuters over at the uh, Amtrak station on the right there. Now looking ahead, you can see the Pico building, the, the dark building. Looks like it's right in the middle of the path, but we're actually going to skate to the right of that, stay on the riverfront where that's uh, not quite on the riverfront. Well, it's, it's right behind the CSX tracks. Now this first bridge here you see, that is not for any cars. That is actually for railroad tracks. I, I don't know what it's called. I guess you could call it the 30th Street Bridge because it's right there at 30th Street Station. But as you can see, the uh, this path is really strange how it just works its way. Now this path would have stayed uh, a footpath on ground had they not run out of land. These tracks here to the left come closer and closer to the waterfront. So that's when we got the, uh, the Schuylkill uh, Banks boardwalk, which I'll tell you about when we get there. So after the, the train tracks, we were skating under Market Street. Or was that uh, JFK Boulevard? We might have been, went under both of them. First was JFK and then was Market. After that, you got Chestnut Street coming up here, and we're getting closer to uh, the, the Schuylkill Banks Boardwalk. This little parkland to the right, when we do have some space here, is going to be the Schuylkill Banks Park. Kristoff can really go. It's funny, he doesn't have any semblance of form, in my opinion, <laughs> but he can leg it out. And it just goes to prove to you you do not need big wheel skates to skate comfortably fast. I mean, we've got 40 skaters behind us, and they're going to stretch out. So we're just about to go under Walnut Street, and at this point, you'll see this biker is making a pass on these other bikers, and you'll notice they get to the right. Everybody's got good sidewalk etiquette here, except for the dog. Kidding, of course. And... We're about to hit the boardwalk at this point. Now, this boardwalk is, is rather important to Philly. It seems that developers, whether they're, you know, operating on the on the behest of the the city or or those who are just have a an interest in you know gobbling up land to make money off of it, have really put some effort into this uh, waterfront area, and they're they're building it up in Philly. So now we're on the boardwalk. This thing cost uh, 18 million dollars, roughly 19 actually. That comes out to 9,000 a foot because it's 2,000 feet long. And it connects Locust Street, where we just got on, to the South Street Bridge. 
Now, why is it over water? Like I said, it's because there was no more land with the railroad there. It's there was no architect. You know, this thing is completely utilitarian. There's no design in it whatsoever. It's meant for you know to be safe. So you'll notice the only cool thing about it are going to be those lights that you see. They're all solar driven. They're all solar powered. It's it, there are some unique features about it that you don't notice. Obviously, it's 15 foot wide, so it can accommodate emergency vehicles from end to end. So it can actually be used. The pilings had to be sent really deep into the earth, um, down through the water because of the. I understand the Schuylkill is pretty pretty soft, but it is amazingly strong at this point. Uh, at its furthest out, it's 50 feet from the shore, and um, it'll eventually, if they can get it, they're going to get it down to Christian Street. And one day, all the way down to Gray's Ferry, uh, which is Bartram's Mile. So, it, again, it wasn't built for cyclists or pedestrians. It was built for people to just hang out on. You can actually fish off this thing. They'll let you do that. And we're approaching the uh, Roberts Pediatric Center, I believe it is. It, you know, it had it's had different names. But the reason it's the, um, the Pediatric Center, it's a children's hospital research center. It's not a hospital. It's all office space and, uh, and research. So this is where we're going to hang out here next, and well, I'll tell you a little about that, a little bit about that as we get to it. A couple details as we go forward. Remember, this is the final skate of the Philadelphia's free skate, and in this uh, in this particular segment, I have five total videos covering this Sunday morning skate. This is the 10 a.m. skate, and it's it's somewhat indicative of what a skate is like with the land skaters on a recreational skate on a Sunday morning. We might be going, well, we were definitely going a little, a lot faster than we normally would on that Schuylkill Banks trail. However, there's a group up, I'd say every single mile. I mean, there's, there's a number of stops, you know, on a, on a 10 to 11 mile skate on a Sunday morning, there's going to be at least 10 stops. So, and I say this because I'm encouraging people who, who can inline skate, who, who live in the Delaware, Philadelphia, New Jersey area, that want to come out and skate with this club, to do so and not be afraid to do so. Again, five segments here. We're, in, we're just finishing up part two. It's going to finish with us going through the uh, Gay Pride Parade, but uh, we're not there yet. It's too much for any man! 